Teddy Smith right here on WPAT. It's uh, currently 8.05 on a great Memorial Day weekend, and it's uh, good evening to you. And we're playing rock and roll, as you probably know, and oldies, and uh, taking your request at 212-219-9695, a special Four Seasons Hour. A great time to be talking about the Four Seasons, and also to have uh, Mr. Bobby Massey here, son of the late Nick Massey, one of the great uh, Four Seasons, and Walter Gollander. It's a uh, privilege to have you here, Bobby, and uh, talk about your dad and some of the great moments, uh, you know, growing up with the Four Seasons is a real special moment. I mean, you know, I'm sure I couldn't even probably comprehend what you guys, what you went through as a child, you know, living, you know, with your dad and, you know, your family and everything. Why don't you, you know, it's welcome to see you, by the way. It's, it's oh, great. thank you. Thank you, Ted. Yeah, so, you know, why don't you just tell us a little bit about, you know, the, the great, the uh, great, moments that you've had, you know, growing up with your dad, Nick Massey, okay? Well, I was about 12 and uh, going to school and having all your friends, you know, I was very proud of my dad. He was very talented. Yes, uh, certainly. And, uh, you know, some of the great uh, hits of the uh, Four Seasons, you mentioned Ragdoll, and you know, tell us about that and about some of the other great songs that, that you know, you, you actually were very very, you know, growing up with that, you were very, very impressed with as, as a kid. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, Dad had the, the arranging going with the uh, group, and uh, uh, everybody played their part, and they worked, worked very well together, and uh, they just, they, they were a team. I see. Now, um, you know, growing up with your dad is, it was uh, obviously very, very, very great. I mean, very special. So some of the other great songs besides Ragdoll that you, that you wanted to talk about, I know that you want to talk about some of the, several of the other songs as well. Oh, Walk Like a Man, uh, Big Girls in Town, um, a Girl Come Running Home. Uh, oh, there's so many great ones. Uh, Which one was uh, one of your early favorites uh, as you... Uh, watched and enjoyed your father's rehearsing with the boys. Which one of the songs? By the was way, this is Walter Gollander. Oh, they all know me out there. <laughs> Which one was your favorite, or several of your favorites? I liked Ronnie and Walk Like a Man and Big Man in Town and Ragdoll was probably my favorite. It was my dad's favorite, and uh, that was the biggest hit. It yeah. stayed on the charts number one for the longest time. So, uh, the how about uh, some of the? I mean, the, the longevity. Of, uh, of this group is just just significant. I mean, just so many people love the Four Seasons all over the world. Oh, really? They were they were, uh, and they had the album out the uh, Four Seasons versus the Beatles. They were they were they were they were there. They were there. It what was, was that you said when uh, Sherry came out? You made a prediction that your father had said what about Sherry? Well, when they recorded it, Dad came home and he says, "Bob, this is going to be number one in one week." And uh, Sure enough, seven or eight days later, it was number one. Well, uh, that, that's really great. Now, of course, the British invasion was happening. The Beatles were here. That didn't stop the Four Seasons from going all the way to the top, though, during those years. Oh, yeah, they had four number ones by then. And uh, when they came, it was like one and two, uh, you know, fighting for the number one spot. The Beatles in uh, 64, they, they were number one, and uh, the Four Seasons were number two. Like, Walk Like a Man was number three. And uh, they were like a horse race. They were going head to head. How about your relationship and your background with uh, with Mr. Rudy Valley? Tell us about that. Oh, he was a great man, and uh, I went to the show twice, and, and uh, uh, we 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 met him backstage. And Rudy Valley was uh, he was he loved the Four Seasons. But you know what? Your father was like a coach, a mentor, a teacher. Very special man who uh, educated, who trained who has inspired the group, that really, really made the group a success, I would oh, say. Oh, yeah, Dad believed in those guys, and uh, Dad, Dad, like Joe Reynolds said, that he was the bull. He, he got them going. Walter? Well, I was always uh, fascinated with, with Nick Massey. I, uh, I first discovered uh, your dad uh, when he was with Hugh Garrity and the Playboys back in 1957, which was the first year I could go into a club and drink legally or illegally in Jersey. Oh yeah. And I remember him with the Hollywood Playboys and they were rehearsing at a college in in Hillside and I was fascinated with your father on songs like Don't Let Go and You Can't Fool Me Baby and he had been on the Rita label and I just love that you know that throaty